Good day. Welcome to Kimmer's Everything. Been looking to get a kilowatt meter for a while, and on AliExpress, I'll put a link down below. I found the Mac Daddy of all kilowatt meters. And this is a a torch. You can see it says a torch right here on the top. Comes a little manual, and that's it. And there are some really great specs. And this one I bought specifically because check this out, color display. It's in English. There we go. That's English. And it kind of does uh, amps, voltage, uh, frequency, and it'll do like some uh, power calculations, all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm going to show you what it can do on, through the app. Uh, it tells you how to set it up. And this one here, believe it or not, I want to show you something on the back. Wi-Fi. I think they have a Bluetooth one and a Wi-Fi one, but the advantage of the Wi-Fi one, you can be on your vacation and turn this outlet on and off. So it's got a relay in here. So that's really cool feature to have. Color display, relay, all kinds of cool specs. Buttons on the front, so if you don't use the Wi-Fi, I'm just using the Wi-Fi, I've not really used any of the buttons. But I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug this in, take a look at it. And I'll show you the app too. Let's plug it in here. And of course, I must have it upside down. Oh yeah, I flipped the screen. You can flip the screen, which is kind of cool. And it takes about a minute to boot up. I don't know if it's going to go on the Wi-Fi right now because I'm kind of far away. Let's see if it does. Yeah, I think we're a little too far away. We're out, we're out in the uh, carriage house right now. Let's see. Okay, maybe it did. Security protect. So you can kind of see here by the screen, you've got the voltage, the amps, and your, and your wattage. And over, volta, over voltage protection, over current protection, and over power protection. So you, the first one, OVP, you can do uh, your voltage. So you can see, I, I don't want to go over 123 watts or 123 volts. And over current protection, you can say, oh, nothing over 9 amps or whatever you want to select to. And over power protection, so you got 997 watts. I think it goes up to 4,000 watts, which is quite a lot. And I'm not sure I want to put that much through here, but you could. So I think this would be kind of cool just for on, uh, say, a generator too to kind of kind of test them out. But I bought it because I want to see what my devices are using. So we're going to plug something in. What do we got here? Found something. Found my soldering iron, which I have right here. We're going to plug it in. And just out of curiosity, you can see it's actually drawing 3.93 watts, 0 0.069 amps without even turned on. And let's just turn on the heating soldering iron. Let's see. Around 20 ish watts, 0.33 amps, and 123 volts. So that's pretty cool. You can see it kind of switches displays. And you can change this. It's all very custom. I'm going to show you in the app. Now, let's do something more fun. This is something that really draws power. Let's turn on the reflow station. That should draw a lot. There you go. 600 watts, 5 amps. Really cool. So tell, let's go look at the app really quick because the, I think that's where you're going to kind of see the benefit of this, especially like I said, since it's Wi-Fi. Plug in. And you can get all that stuff remotely. And the fact that this is here is a little switched outlet, so you can turn things off and on if you want. Uh, I've been kind of testing out some of the fire sticks, fire cubes, those kind of things, just to see how much power they draw because you think, oh, just little small devices. That stuff adds up. You know, fire cubes, three watts. Um, uh, like Amazon Echo, about two watts. You got about five or six of those. You're starting to draw some power, and you'd be amazed at just how much, how much power you're drawing on some of your devices. But in the future, I'm going to be doing some testing on some of my some of my devices just to see how much current they really do draw. Especially like some LED light bulbs, those kind of things. But so the A torch is really cool. Let's go look at let's go look at the the app on the phone. Okay, so Smart Life is the app. I've already installed it. And you can see smart energy meter and home graph and set. You can see you get that shows that it's on, you get the voltages, you get some nice graphs. We'll kind of go through that in here in a second, just kind of give you a glance here. But you kind of see, you can scroll along. I've been it up for about a month or so. So I get some, some nice data. It's got a straight line. Uh, you can see here's the voltage graph by the hour and the current, not much current change there. And a power graph. And the power doesn't really change too much. It's a small change, so it's a big graph. And down here, let's see, we got some statistics, CPU temperature, if you're interested in that kind of thing. And, and electricity, you can add some other things. And you can also set up, uh, you know, you can say, hey, I, get, I pay 
$5 per kilowatt hour. And if we look here in the settings, you can see you can set the over voltage protection. You can see I got that at 136. Uh, the over current protection, I got 9 amps. You can put every whatever you would like. See, I'm scrolling around a little bit. I just pick 9 arbitrarily. And over power protection, so you can say I only want to use 10 watts and kick the kick the breaker on it. How about 900? That's fine. And you got overcurrent recovery. You can say, hey, uh, just do it now. Or if you got overcurrent, turn it off. Let it turn back on in five minutes. You can do some settings and things like that. Very nice. A lot of really cool graphs in here. And what it's going to do when it powers up, powers on. You can flip the screen. Uh, you can factory reset it. Connect to Wi-Fi. And I've already done that. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. But on the bottom, you see you can turn off and on. Let's go back up here to the top. You can go back home. Oh, here you go. Smart energy meter. Uh, you connect to uh, uh, Amazon or Google. And you can see there's also a, a device update. So you can get a firmware update. You can see here's the firmware that's on it right now. I don't know. I haven't seen it really uh, update yet. So I don't know if there's new firmware up there or not. And you can auto upgrade. There's a little upgrade itself. Pretty cool. A lot of really nice features on here. I think here's like the main part you're going to be in right here. You can see, you can see the uh, your current, uh, how much power you use in amps, and the, the wattage, which is really nice. And that's basically what I look. I look at the main screen, but these graphs are kind of nice and not a lot of data right now. But and uh, the the current that I'm using is not really changing a whole lot. Same with the voltage, just a little uh, Amazon Fire Fire Cube, I think, on here. So it's using about two and a half watts. And you can turn the breaker on and off, or the, the relay on and off. The bottom here, the bottom. So that's kind of nice. So if you want to power cycle your device, don't put your router on there because if you power cycle your router, you're you not going to be able to turn it back that's on. That's the A-Torch S1 Electricity Measure Smart Control Programmable Socket. Really nice little device. Nice display. And I think that's over the kilowatt. This is by far, this is like the Mac Daddy version of that. You can do all the cool stuff with Wi-Fi, which you can't do on the kilowatt. Color display, you get over current protections. All simple through, of course, Wi-Fi. And that smart app, fantastic. I do highly recommend uh, picking up the Wi-Fi one. It's 20 bucks, definitely worth it. Uh, just for all the cool features you're gonna get, the over voltage protection, the over current protection, over power protection. Uh, all the cool graphs you're gonna get out of it that you won't get out of a kilowatt. And the price, it's right. And of course, the uh, relay socket, so you can turn your device off and on if you wanted to remotely. Very nice device, the S1 Electricity Measure Smart Control Programmable Socket. Nice little device. Pick one up. Whee!